the curvy tree. Okay. Once upon a time, a little girl ran away from her, her village in tears. With nowhere to go and no one to talk to, she ran into the forest to be alone. She ran and ran until her feet grew tired, so she looked for a place to sit. Most of the woods had been cleared out by loggers, but in the very center of all the stumps was a curvy tree standing alone. He was different from all the other trees she had ever seen. His roots were winding, his trunk was curled, and his branches looped toward the sky. The little girl was so sad she didn't even notice this strange tree. She sat under its shade and cried so much that a puddle of tears formed on the ground below her. The curvy tree was awoken from his afternoon nap by her cries. He was troubled to see such a small girl acting so sad, so he could bend, so he bent down to make sure she was all right. Little girl, why are you crying? The curvy tree asked. You can talk? The little girl said with a fright. The curvy tree nodded. I can. Do all trees talk? She asked. When they have something to say, I suppose, the curvy tree said. We can talk, laugh, sing, and cry when we're feeling blue. That's why I'm wondering what's troubling you. The other children in my village are very mean to me, the little girl said with a sniffle. They make fun of my glasses. They tease me about my hair. They say that I talk funny. I'm not pretty and I'm not smart. That's silly, the tree said. I'm just a tree and even I can see that isn't true. Those village children would be lucky to have a friend like you. No matter how nice I am, they never nice to me, the little girl said. I don't think I'm ever going to find a friend. The curvy tree wiped her tears with his leaves. He thought about her troubles and was reminded of something that had happened a very long time ago. May I tell you a story? I think it will make you feel better. What story could make me feel better? The little girl asked. It's my story, the tree said. When I was young, barely taller than a shrub, the other trees in the woods were very mean to me because I was different. This is, see, this is when the curvy tree was little, see? They made fun of my winding roots, my curvy trunk, and my loopy branches. It made me sad. And I used to cry myself to sleep every sleep every night. So that's where he's small. Yeah, he's small and he's sad. Then one day, loggers came to the forest and cut down all the trees except for me. These are the loggers. See, they're cutting the trees. They thought I was too curvy to be a chair, too twisty for a table, and too loopy for a house. So they left me all alone in the woods. Being different may have been difficult, but it's what saved me. But didn't you get lonely without the other trees? The little girl asked. Indeed I did, the tree said. I thought I would be alone forever, but then I grew and I grew and then I grew some more. I grew so tall 
that I could see far into the distance and it made me smile. Why? the little girl asked. What did you see? The curvy tree scooped up the little girl. He raised her high into the sky. He raised her high into the sky so she could see for herself. In the distance, all around them were dozens of curvy trees in other forests. They all waved and smiled at the little girl, and standing under branches were other children. See, there's another thing a boy and this curvy tree. Those children are all just like me, the little girl said with a smile. You may feel different and you may feel alone, but one day you'll grow and discover that there are many friends to be found if you look past the horizon, the tree said. There is no reason to cry. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, for you. I can't See, in this. every forest, there is a curvy tree. The end.